Now everyone, welcome back. So I said it's been a while since I've done kind of, kind of an update on the cows and all that and just a bit of a morning routine video. I said it's been a while since, since I've done one of them. So I said I'd just do one now for the Sunday video. Bull, Bull is with the cows, like I said before. So he's with them now and the cows are cleaning out the paddocks pretty well. Grass growth has improved a lot now since the last video, so uh, yeah, there is plenty of grass there now for the cows. It's really grown the past even week, so it's been pretty good. Despite all the rain, it's made a lot of rain this week, a lot of rain, and but grounds hold up well. You know, my ground's pretty heavy, so you know I would see, I would. Um, if I get floods of rain, I would see a difference. And yeah, so far it's still okay. You know, there's no damage done at all. It's just a bit wrong around the gates and all that, but nothing we're talking about. So yeah, we're still doing pretty well. You know, I was getting them up now for milking and uh, the breeding season still going on. I'll talk about that now while I'm milking. But um, yeah, we're nearly at the end now. I'll probably be taking away the bull at the end of the month in July and that'll be the end of it then whatever is after that then it's just getting too late like you know so anyway yeah we'll get these up and we'll get milking lines in. I normally leave in two lines at the start just to uh, free up the yard when I close the gate outside. Um, yeah, like I said, breeding season, we're into, uh, this is be week 10 and more or less kind of finished. How did it go? It went to same as every other year really. I can't say up or down really. I suppose we won't know until the scan, until we pregnancy scan the herd. 
But um, the heifers went well, I think I mentioned that before. Heifers went good, so they're hopefully all pregnant, but I did scan them and 95% of them were pregnant at the time, so that was pretty good. Uh, the bull with the cows at the moment, like I said, I'd probably take him away at the end of the month. Just anything after that, get anything after that, it's kind of a leash. And there was some cows, any cow after that's kind of getting a bit late for me. Even though I do milk on until probably Christmas sometimes, but it just all depends on how many cows I have and all that. So, you know, any cow after that, probably you're more likely to be sold, like, you know, because I have loads of heifers coming in, so I'm not short on heifers because I don't want cows calving too late. Calving too late to me, you know, they're coming into the cycle so much later and I don't really want that system, which is kind of what I'm trying to do. So they're milking well, you know, they're milking okay all the time. You know, like I said, grass grows, picked up a lot, they're milking well. And they're getting a, they're getting a good bit of ration at the moment. I want to get down on grass, it's kind of slow. I up the ration a bit, but hopefully you know, next week I can cut it back a bit, you know. So um, that's how it work out like that. So we get through these clusters off with our middles and we'll get on the next side. People have asked me the past couple of months um, about what teeth spray, teeth spray that I use on the cows, and I only use the past year and a half, two years. I only used um, Dilavel teeth spray products, and what I'm using is um, Dilavel Prima, Prima Prima. Uh, it's like a foam. It's it's not a foam. It's pretty close to a foam kind of forms up. Uh, I have great success with it. I think it's very good. Cell count is always low. Very little cases, very no cases of mastitis. I think it's a very good product. I've done, I haven't done a milking video, I'd say, since um, probably a good while ago. I don't even actually remember where I done it last. And a few people commented on the floor of the pit and the height of it. And there are all me kind of crouching in around the cluster and it could affect my back in later life. Yeah, well, it probably could. But 
it doesn't look as bad as what it, it doesn't it's not as bad as what it looks for a simple reason I'm not that tall I'm about well I'm about five nine or whatever so um maybe a bit worse maybe a bit less I don't know <laughs> I actually haven't met I actually haven't met my heart in a long time so it just kind of just about suits me but I suppose it was a bit lower so we need to raise the pit floor a bit because it actually used to be very deep and we raised it a tiny bit to get to a new drain that's about 15 years ago so that's the reason behind that but it just works for me and I'd love to put mats in the floor but if I went up any higher I probably wouldn't have an issue then Another big thing that I had to do this year, and I had to get the cows all four on for flies. The flies were just upsetting them so much, and four ons really helped. You know, and the paddle that hid the wagon constantly, and I got a few tails in the face, I would admit, and I gave them a four on. I normally, normally, normally get away with it during the summer, but this year the flies were just so bad, I had to, because it was just, they were just, everywhere and i think everyone's in the same situation this year the flies are just crazy there's just so many of them this cow here is a really slow milker it takes a long time to milk um, well, not that long, but a while, so probably the slowest cow milk in the herd now, so yeah, she's kind of annoying, to be honest, but look, what do you do? Um, she's old anyways, the cow is about 12 years old, so she's pretty old, so look, again, probably cow would probably be leaving the herd at some stage, but um, she milks really well though, she's a British Friesian cow, milks really well, and the old Jersey cow is still hammering out the liters as well. She's going on 14 actually. And she's in calf again. Well, she hasn't shown a repeat anyway, so... That has to be a good sign, doesn't it? and it's finished now, there's only two rows left and uh, when this row goes out a row here, a row there and then one cow so we're nearly finished uh, feeding the 15% um, protein ration to the cows they thrive well on it, works out well uh, I was feeding 18 all winter but all spring so we've gone to the 15 now you know, there's much point in feeding 18 at the moment like you know So, this milking parlor is 44 years old this year and it honestly hasn't changed a bit since the day it was put in. Still has the, the rocker switches, you know, they're off the vacuum. You know, you can put one switch down to leave milk out of the jar or put the two of them down to leave the milk go into the tank and the two of them up to start milking. So, pretty simple. It hasn't changed, the jars are the same, uh, the pulsation is actually the same. Um, we had my grandfather and my dad kind of I suppose a lot of these parlors around they were kind of they've been torn out or upgraded and ours is one of the last kind of few of these around there's not many of them around left now the, the old style well there's a there's, I, I suppose there's a good few around this area but a lot of them have had you don't would say the vacuum updated pulsation is still the old old pulsator it's still the one that was put in in the 70s so it still works away. Now we had six spare ones that were kind of gathered and they weren't working right at all, they weren't clicking. So we actually, our Dillaval dealer took them away and they're actually fixing them at the moment. 
and they said they they're fixable and I think they have a lot of them fixed to our screws and this one goes we can put one on. Yeah I'd like to upgrade the pad at some stage um, at the moment it's doing the job I'm not going to uh, rush into a big job I'm not making a, a massive herd I'm you know and look I'm milking between 60 and 65. This pal is well capable of doing that. Um, I suppose a 10 unit would be nice, would be the way to go, but not at the moment. One thing I would love would be feeders in the parlor, a batch feeding system. Um, I would love that. I have feeders that obviously you can see feeders, but they're um, out of commission. And the motor's gone and um, the auger are rotten. And we had, it was, there was no concrete meal bin. It's like a concrete room, really. That was meal bin. Walls are rotten. It was kind of dangerous when the meal used to go in. You know, it just was dangerous when there was pressure against it. So it was a hazard, so that was broken out. And trying to hook it up to a new meal bin, we probably looked at it, it wasn't worth it. That's about 10, or eight, that's about 10 years ago now. It wasn't worth it at the time. So, probably, if I was doing a parlor, I probably just, when I'm doing the parlor, I probably do the feeders at the same time. Um, a group of feeders in here, and then when, the, when I'm doing the parlor, just leave them there and join on again with newer feeders, but we'll see down the line. But for now, I like this parlor. It works out well, it's working good. I keep it as clean as I can, and works really well. Makes the cut out well. There are, all the quality results are very low with it. You know, um, quality, we'll say, and um, the bacteria is very low. This mag cell count's always low. And yeah, do you know, I mix the cows out, what more do you want? At the end of the day, Palo, I mix the cows. Doesn't matter how many units you have. Once you have, once you don't have a massive race, you know, you don't have too many lots, like, like, I only have 100 cows in here. <laughs> you know, I'd be pretty tough. But with the number I have, I can manage. And everything I see in popularity at the moment, and I'd like to keep an opinion on them, these milking robots. There's a lot of them out there now, and um, they're actually growing in popularity. And I don't know if it's a labor shortage on farms or what, but definitely something that I've looked, I looked at before, but yeah, I don't know. I just have to, I suppose I like to see my few farms, but I like being hands-on with the cows. And I think that's probably a big thing with me because I've been to a few shows, I've, been to the, I've seen them and, you know, and um, they definitely look great in fairness now. And, no, they are working for people. So it's definitely something that I think would benefit a lot of farms, but probably I'd like to be more hands-on with the cows, really being honest.
Right, that's the cows back out in the field. Just got nine o'clock now, so they're all done. Right everybody, we're actually over in the yard over again because there was a bit of that field I wanted to finish Just I just hadn't enough when I was spreading this about three days ago So I just wanted to finish it off uh, The field I was spreading was the field um, that we actually trained the calves in And um, I'll show you in the next video I moved so the rest, well not the rest but and there are 16 calves back to the out farm and there is 13 more inside in the shed to be left out. They haven't gone out because the weather's been so bad, that's wild. And even young calves out, well they're, they're actually pretty old now, but um, they're the last of the calves that were born. And they have to go out now when the weather clears up, which will be, I don't know when, because it's making a lot of rain, like I said before. But yeah, this is, machine is finally working the way it's meant it's supposed to work. Thank God. Uh, fields now are accurate. Because last year, um, like I said before, I just could not get it right. And there was lines being left. And it was annoying. I have to say, it was fairly annoying. But I managed to get it right now. And thank God now it works out fairly well. But there was that point where just it wasn't going right. And look, I suppose, look, it's just getting used of a machine in a sense that it was our first quad spreader like we never had one before and it was just i should know enough about it and it's not something you can get that, that there's no information online about and nobody else kind of had one locally really until my dad was working for that farmer and he had bought one and he said that he was having the same issue so he spoke to somebody else and he figured out what, what was wrong because he was having the same problem so i have to say i spoke on both there great spreader they really are they're well built now they're i think they're made in new zealand they're well strong now i have to say if i was if look i know some guys have well cores and things and i think that's one of the best of them out there i think it is like for this my first one but we did look around and that at the time and that was one of the good ones like it's like the whole frame is galvanized do you know like there's nothing to really some of them the gather the the frame is painted like and she's like you know like it's not gonna last to you know long term anyway unless you wash it every time and even at that like no one not wash it every time but you want to really wash it like like you you want to give like i power hose that every time but you don't want to really really wash it and look saying that it might last if you keep it if you if you kept it inside and painted it every winter oiled it up be fine I keep this is in every winter now obviously it's galvanized I will make no difference to it but I do oil certain parts like that and it seems to last pretty well good spreader can't fault it guys that's the end of the video it was a different kind of a different video like you know I was milking and you know all kind of work I just wanted to go through the cows with you uh, like I said there's lots more work to do lots more videos lots more videos to do um, I have to I actually found the old videos that I mentioned them a while back, I was going to put together all videos of silage from years ago. I haven't found just to go through them now, so that could be, <laughs> that'll probably be a day's work in itself, but that'll be my spare time, which is never. So I'll do that in my spare time. I'll get that up to you. It might be, it might be a few weeks before I get that kind of thing sorted out, you know, but um, I have to gather them up myself because if you leave them go too long, they, they can get lost and damaged. So I don't want that. You know, I want to get them, I even to get them, on a USB drive or whatever, just haven't done right because it'd be I, I even want to I even want to look back on them because you know I like having kind of history like you know and there's not much difference it's just like all the trackers are the same but it's just seeing what how it was done so I think they'd they'd be a big hit with other people like us doing pit side years ago that'd be a big hit with people so um will we ever go back to that I hope so but. <laughs> 
uh probably not for a while not for a while anyway so we'll see anyway guys thanks for watching uh and i'll see you all in the next one bye